Okay, well in today's video we are going to be going over everything that we got at the Goodwill and also whatever we got at Casper's by Sell and Consign in Lancaster. Uh, we do have a special guest with us briefly today. We, I am going to be putting her back on her cage. But this is our new bird, Astrid. She is a lilac crowned Amazon. Um, she is still adjusting to life here in our house. Um, Hager is staring intently from his cage because he wants to be the star of the show because he usually is and he doesn't really like her taking the spotlight but they do get along well um, he's curious about her he's not aggressive towards her yeah they're fine together no I Charlie know. doesn't like any of Charlie them. doesn't like anyone he's the son Conyer that you hear in the sunroom <laughs> um, him and pumpkin they get along together but he doesn't like the big birds <laughs> he doesn't like the green birds no, he is a small green bird. He's he gets very defensive. <laughs> He's my bird also. Yeah. He loves me. Uh, I'm his human. But anyway, uh, we're going to go through this stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Um, I have taken the tags off of a lot of the Goodwill stuff, but our total spent at the Goodwill was, I believe, $97. So you can keep that in your mind as we talk about what I can expect to get for it. Uh, now, we did fill our cart at the Goodwill. It was basically overflowing, and by the time... It was time to go. We pretty much couldn't fit anything else. Anymore. Yeah, we had a bunch so, of stuff. <laughs> so, so we're going to go through this stuff and talk a little bit about it. Um, I guess I'll start on this side of the table and we'll move our way that way. Yeah, Does that that's sound cool. good? Yeah. All right. Um, so one of the items I picked up was this fun bowl. And the reason I picked it up was just because it was different and I thought it was kind of a fun theme. Uh, I didn't recognize it as being any particular maker. I just thought it was an interesting bowl. It's probably something that somebody could buy off of Etsy. I don't know. If you do know the maker, you can leave it down in the comments. Um, Is that your anus? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but it's like a solar system bowl. I thought it would be fun for a kid or something. It would make a nice cereal bowl. It's really high. I mean, it would be a lot of cereal. If right nothing there. else, lots of great planet Uranus jokes. Yeah, because you're all about those. I think you've made like two in the course of this video so far. Um, but I just thought it, it is. It's, totally it's a guy thing. thing. It's a guy mm -hmm. thing, isn't it? No, this is one for me. She's like, I don't know what to do. It's it's funny though. You can see the temper, the temperament difference between mm -hmm. her and Hager. She's just like chill. Now, mind you, she's also only six months old, so she's really just like getting on. Still learning <laughs> how to bird. Um, so this piece right here, I would expect probably to get, she says leave me alone. I would expect probably to get 15 to 20 for this bowl. Um, and the reason for that is because there is some crazing on the inside. I think I would probably be able to get between 20 and 25 if there wasn't crazing on the inside. But I think the crazing kind of turns some people off, so. I like crazing. I like crazing personally. I personally do too. I think some people have an issue with it. What do you think about grazing? You're gonna taste it? Tastes good? Okay. All right, so another piece that we grabbed at the Goodwill was this fun looking ewer. Um, now, she says leave me alone. I know, I'm not gonna. <laughs> now I believe this is more of a decorative piece. It is a hobbyist piece. It was decorated by a hobbyist. Um, I don't think it really has much function. I was gonna say it could probably be used as a vase, but the opening is only about this large and it's very thin. So you can only put a couple flowers in there if you were to use it as a vase, but it is painted with sunflowers, uh, which I really, I like the sunflowers. I'm a sucker for sunflowers. So it's uh, signed on the bottom and dated 1970. So it's just a nice. I just like, even though piece. even though it's a hobbyist piece, it's not one of those run of the mill common no, hobbyist pieces. No, it's piece. not. And it's nicely done. So a lot of the times when we pick up these hobbyist pieces, it's because we look at them and we say, you know what, they did a really nice job. Um, other pieces <laughs> we'll leave behind, like that creepy one at the flea market the other week. Mm, that one? Oh yeah. With like the black tears, that one was a little too much for me. Yeah. I mean, it was cool. I think I think the monkey nurse with the bedpan that was that like, was just fun and funky. It that was, was weird. That was cool. It wasn't the best paint job, but it was fun and it was different. I've never seen another one of those um, either. Yeah, I know. But but this is this is nicely painted, so that's why I, I like the this. form. I would expect also to get probably I'm gonna say 15 to maybe 25 for this. I think if it was closer to fall. Wait, when do sunflowers come out? Is it fall? No, it's not. Mm -mm. 
You know what? I lived in Kansas for three years and I still don't know. <laughs> I think like when sunflowers bloom, whenever that is, I think this would probably sell better, but I think it's still going to sell okay. It's a really nice piece. Nicely done. And they even put details on the little seeds. You can see the little seeds they painted in there. So. Yeah, the little specks. I think that's a nice piece. All right, I grabbed this piece right here focuses for us now this is obviously just a single milk glass candlestick but what i liked about it is that it has this gold detailing yeah now i believe this is made by westmoreland um i think the grapes are likely just painted gold probably with 22 carat or 24 carat yeah uh it would have come to pair obviously but we only have one uh, for this piece right here i would expect ow that's my ear <laughs> i would expect probably to get like eight to twelve for that because it's a single if it was if we had two i like it i would expect 15 to 18 for it i like it and i wish they would have painted glass i wish they would have painted all of the Stop leaves the but ear. Stop the you want me to put ear. it back for you yeah, so if you're going to get my ear, you're going to go, you can play with my hair. Just don't play with my ear. That's not nice. nice. <laughs> she growls. She growls. She's like something, she's like the, the baby Ninja Turtle from the Ninja Turtle movie. Okay. Time to go back, Esther. I will put you back. I will put you back, but I do love you. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright. Now I can take my sweatshirt off. That was my... Protection from poop. Mmm. <laughs> that bird poops a lot. She does. Okay. All right. So, oh, now we shall continue. Now we're gonna get serious. Okay. Uh, so another piece that I grabbed was this vanity milk glass tray. I grabbed this. I, you know, I had a, like this inner debate over this piece and this outer debate with Andrew over this piece. The reason being that it does have quite a few issues. There are cracks, there are chips, but the reason I still grabbed it is because of its age and because it survived this long. And in my head, I could just imagine it ending up in the bins, getting completely obliterated. And it's almost got like a greenish tinge to it. It's, it's like early 1900s. It's a very old vanity dish. And yeah. I just, I could not like, I could not imagine it getting just destroyed in the bins. So I decided to grab it. I listed it up for a $4 starting bid. I won't expect it to go very high, maybe like 10 to $12 because it is chipped. It does have cracks. Like, I, you know what I really like about this is the waviness in the glass. It's, it's early, yeah. Yes, but it's still like, it's still sturdy. It's not like, it's not, yeah, and, and when you're saying cracks, it's not really, they're not really crack well, cracks. Well, there is a crack here. I see, I see that, and but here. it doesn't look like... No, I mean, it's still functional, like, yeah. it still work. And there's only one chip that is visible from the And top. that doesn't, and they don't go all the way through no. to the top. So no. you don't even see it on the top, but I like... I like I like saving these older pieces because you know what even even if you don't use it as a vanity dish there's there's other things that it could be used yeah. for um, repurpose there's there's all kinds of things you can repurpose these things for so yeah I couldn't see that piece slipping through my fingers so I grabbed it. What the heck are these? These are your eyelashes? Is this how you do your eyelashes? They're they're for fancy cheese. They're fancy cheese. Oh, I thought they were like things. those eyelash things that you put up so you can no. just like put your eyelashes through the slot That's and then you creepy. spray paint them. I've never even heard. Or is of that, that for like how you guys do your eyebrows? You spray paint your yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, that on? you're so. <laughs> Don't ever do makeup. <laughs> um, since Andrew picked these up, I did grab these, and I usually stay away from these sort of things but i was just like impressed with the handles to be honest i liked the handles and they're made from some natural i don't know if that's bone or antler uh but it's like alternating bone or antler and part of it is dyed this coral color so i thought that was neat and i decided to grab these for 2.99 but i do think that they are for cheese for slicing cheese ah yeah actually they're pretty sharp so i shouldn't uh, make that gesture and try to do that. <laughs> but those are cool. I didn't have a chance to look them up and find out how much they're worth, but I may use them. So I'm not sure. 
Uh, we grabbed these two guys. Uh, the reason I grabbed these, and I have to say, I have to give props to this Goodwill in Lancaster because they do not use packing tape on stuff. They use rubber bands, they use scotch tape. Uh, they do not use gobs and gobs of masking tape. So for instance, these guys just, I pulled off a rubber band. Um, but these two little brass cats, we just sold a pair of these mm. on eBay. Um, and they sold for $39, but despite being in the basement, those ones were in better condition than these ones because these do have some oxidation on them. I would expect these to go for, I don't know, 15 to 20 bucks. It's a pair of Siamese cats. Uh, one has its eyes open, one has its eyes shut, and we paid $2.99 for these. So they are cool brass cats, and they probably were made in India. A lot of these brass figurines typically are, and they usually have stickers. So the stickers get come off, they get lost, and they are no longer made in India. Hmm. <laughs> this piggy, Andrew actually picked up. <laughs> he is really cute. He's and cool. Andrew his was, hat. yeah. Andrew pointed out his little hat, and I'm like, you know what? That's actually pretty cute. Why don't you grab that? It's just a little piggy coin bank. It's probably not terribly old. It's vintage i'd say yeah uh it's probably worth 20 to 25 dollars it still has a stopper so the stopper doesn't need to be replaced but it's just got a little cowboy hat on and he's adorable i like yeah. the glazing i like the colored glaze he's cute yeah he's cool i'm surprised there's no i didn't see any marks on him anywhere there's no markings anywhere but there was sticker residue on the back, back of, of that them, wasn't yeah. from the goodwill sticker so i'm sure that probably gave some indication of where it came i did from, find yeah. another one listed online that had a different glazing pattern so i don't know if maybe this was a hobbyist piece if you could go and glaze your own but maybe not i don't know i don't know he's cool he is cool regardless i yep. like him I had, the kids haven't seen him yet. I listed him already, so they're gonna see him. They're like, Mom, can I have it? It's already listed. They already know when I say it's already listed that their chances are slim to none, that they're gonna be able to have it. Um, so this piece right here was one of our last grabs. I didn't actually see it the first time through, but this is a Brush McCoy vase. It is marked on the bottom, not Brush McCoy, but it is uh, marked 745, made in USA. And now they're, are a few cracks on this which i did not notice when i picked it up but when i was taking pictures i noticed them because the glaze is modeled uh you can't really tell until you're looking close and until the bright lights are on it uh, but i did detail that in the listing but i just really like the glaze and i like the classic shape of it so this vase right here typically sells for 15 to 20. Was that noise? There was a coffee pot going off. Oh, the coffee pot. Saying, I'm done. <laughs> so we got this right here. It is an urn style vase. I believe Hager made a style like this. I don't know if this one's Hager. If it was, it may have had a sticker on it. Uh, but it is a matte glaze. Uh, this piece right here is probably 20 to 25. I would expect for that. But it's nice. It doesn't have any chips or cracks, which is nice. I like that light blue color. I like the light blue too. I think that's that's nice. Yeah. Uh, now this is another piece I didn't have a chance to research at all, but it is a melt glass advertising mug. You actually? I yeah. This. I picked it. I mean, it's it's the theme of it, the subject yeah. matter, the motors. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, and it's very graphic. It's you know, it's 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 much more graphic than I've ever seen for a uh, for an advertising mm -hmm. mug like that. So, um, somebody that collects Kawasaki stuff is going to like that. New Providence, PA, Byler Engine Service. Is it is the mug itself marked? Yes, it is. It was marked. Galaxy. Interesting. Yep. Oven proof. Galaxy. Made in Mexico. That's cool. I love those old milk glass mugs. Yeah. So for this, I would probably expect eight to ten. It's and just it's that printing was though. not cheap. No, no. That was not cheap printing. Be able to put an actual image on there. Yeah. Oh, go to <clears throat> this. Now this is more modern. You don't typically see me picking up modern stuff, but I really loved the flowers. Obviously, I believe it's a Van Gogh or yeah, Vincent Van Gogh. So obviously I'm gonna be drawn to it. Uh, it's very colorful, it's very fun. It is marked J Burroughs, I think is the person who designed it. Uh, it is a French press, so 
Yeah, it's burrows on the front too. Yeah. So it is a French press. There is some uh, coffee discoloration on the inside though. I did clean it. So it was used, obviously. Um, but it's just, it's really neat. I love the colors. Apparently originally it was sold with two mugs, which I do not have. Uh, with the two mugs, it sells for about $75 don't have two mugs. So it sells for about 25 to 35. Still, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good for a modern piece that I usually turn my nose up. When I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I have to have that. So uh, this piece has kind of got me a little stumped, which it shouldn't because it's kind of my wheelhouse, but it's just, it's so strange. It's a canister. Yeah, of some kind. But look how small that the is. opening is, yeah. And I'm thinking like, I wonder if it's just more modern decoration. I don't think it's modern. I don't think. But I'm thinking like, how do you fit your cookies in there? You don't, unless they're like fancy cookies and they're tiny fancy cookies. Like I don't even, you can't even fit your hand in there to get the cookies out if you put them in there. No, you can't. You'd have to use tiny fancy tongs. Oh, oh, that's a good point. With your pinky in the ear as you're grabbing it. As you're extracting. The with it, and, and you have to do it on an arc like this, like this. Like this, yes. You pull it, you, you put it in there, and you, mm -hmm. yes, like, it comes up and out, yes, like that. Yes, and then you put them on That's, a fancy little napkin, yeah. and you walk around with the napkin, and yes, and you have your nose up in the air the whole time. Yes, I that's think how I you can do, do that. Yep, that's how you do it. So if you're going to purchase this, you need to know... <laughs> the correct etiquette. The correct etiquette. <laughs> how do you um, use it? <laughs> I have no I clue. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I I'm just really puzzled by this because I, I bought it and then I, it wasn't until I got the tape off and I looked at the opening last night and I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, what the heck? Because yeah. <laughs> it just it didn't occur to me how small the hole was there until I... I got it all and done, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, that's weird. So I don't know about this piece. This maybe it had, um, maybe it had some George relative in it. Oh, you think this is George's relative? I don't know. Maybe it I could don't be, know though. I don't I know mean, what though. It could be. It could be for a. It could be a pet size. Yeah, I don't know though. But it's because, not like a ceiling or locking. Yeah, George like screws shut. Yeah. And I feel like if you're gonna put somebody in something, you need to be able to screw it shut. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. George has a nice spot in the window now, by the way. Yes. He, he likes to look out the window. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, if you know what this is, or what its use was, um, let us know in the comments, because I'm not gonna listen until I figure it out. I George told me he still likes to go for long walks on the beach. But he, he talks just, to you? But he just can't hold hands anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, this little lacquer box has what appears to be a Firebird on it. That's pretty cool. It is cool. Is it Actually, a Firebird or a Phoenix? I don't know. Is it a Phoenix? Aren't they the same thing? I think they're the same thing. I would, I would call that a Phoenix. I mean, that would just be... Like, but it's more than likely a Russian lacquer box. Mm -hmm. So is that part of R Russian... I don't know. I mean... Lore? Is, do they what have is, a... What is PC-92R? That's probably the artist who did it. And you can... I can never understand this stuff because they write in squiggly. I don't know. But so I thought it was like, cool. I, I picked it up. I set it back down. You picked it up. You said, hey, there's a signature on this. And I said, oh, really? Let's take it with us because the signature changes everything. Yeah. So... <laughs> I really like it. I mean, it's... The, the design itself is really nicely done. I mean, the detail that was put into that with the extra gold lines mm -hmm. and the feathers, I mean, just, and, and the feather tips are just insane. Show that, that detail is, is And that ring light is just killer. not doing us any, any justice, but we will try our best. It is. It's really neat. Yeah. I like it. Yep. Is this metal? No. It's, I, that part is. It is. Stop. It's metal. Yeah. Metal. Yep. It's probably brass underneath. It's neat though. It is. All right. Let's continue. Made in Poppy Trail, California. So this is a Poppy Trail 
dish it is shaped like a clam i didn't notice there is a manufacturer's defect over here um that looks like a crack is it one of those things where it yeah the clay had a split in it That's we just had thinking. the yeah. mccoy the small mccoy bird feeder mm -hmm. planter thing yeah and you could see that there was a crack in the in the in the pottery but it's not actually like a crack because the glaze went down into the crack yeah that's what this is and it just didn't fill the whole thing all the way so you, it's still noticeable so that's yeah. yeah that's what you got going on there other than that there are no other chips or cracks on this um without looking up comps for this because i did not look up comps for this i would expect probably to get 25 to 30 for this i could be wrong like i said i didn't look up comps but i'm just going off the top of my head what i think it would be worth so that's always a fun game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this piece right here. Uh, this is Homer Laughlin, Virginia Rose. Another piece that I did not look up comps for. Uh, this piece right here I would expect probably to get, I don't know, it's got this fun kind of three-leaf clover design, which might be fun for St. Patty's Day. St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up soon. Even for the spring. And what is the date? If we get it listed, it could be shipped out in somewhere for St. Patrick's Day. Probably. Yeah. It's March 17th. That's true. So I celebrate we, twice that day. I know. We don't have to go into that. <laughs> so for this piece, um, if we get this listed soon, it could be somewhere for St. Patrick's Day. And I think that that might drive the price up just a little bit. I could expect probably to get, I don't know, 18 to 22 for this. It's a nice piece. I like that. Homer Laughlin usually does pretty well. Your bag. Fill it with potatoes. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Where did that even come from? I don't from? know. It, just, it was good though. It was good. I just fill it with potatoes. <laughs> I can't do it again. I can't do it again. It was just so random and so like, yeah, okay, let's fill it, <laughs> fill it with potatoes. All right. <laughs> I want to go digging. We're going. We have to finish this video, so let's get through it. This purse right here, I the colors are fantastic. I know. I saw it's it hanging very... there. So what caught my eye about it was the handles. That yes. was the first thing that caught my eye because I, I looked at it and I realized that this is not like that new modern bamboo crap that they sell. Yeah. So I looked at that and then I looked at the, the bag itself and I saw all the color in mm -hmm. it and I went, oh wow, that's really cool. I bet that's handmade. Yeah. And then I was I I went all through this hoping to not find a tag. There's no tags. Anywhere. I looked at the stitching on it. The stitching is not commercial stitching. No. Where you see how they wrapped all this around yeah. here and stitched the, the, the bag itself to the to I'm the edge. It. This thing is cool. I love this. And this that was three ninety nine. I mean, somebody put a lot of time into this and it's it's got it, a good it's, weight to it's it. Got, oh my god. And it's got plenty of room in there. Yeah. I mean, that's like a nice sized bag. I really liked it. I do too. I think it could either be spring or summer. I'm not tasting it though. You're not tasting it though. The colors are kind of coral. They're mint. Yeah, well, they're, don't, I don't, don't taste it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just this over here. Um, for this purse, I would expect probably 35 to 40 bucks, which may seem optimistic, but it's clean. It's fun. It's got great color. I'm going to aim high great thing uh okay this oh are no, you you go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm um, this is kind of another more. weird thing that i picked up and the reason i picked it up is because i walked by it twice and i looked at it twice i believe it's modern i don't think that it's very old as a matter of fact it has sticker residue on the bottom it could very well be a target piece no that is not an endorsement for somebody asked if we were sponsored by target we're not sponsored by target it just happens to be brought up a lot. I don't know why. Uh, this could very well be a Target piece. I just liked the origami on it. I thought it was neat. I decided to grab it. Uh, it just appealed to me for some reason. And we actually paid $1.99 for it. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know who makes it. I couldn't find one like it. It's an eight ball. I would expect I don't know eight to ten dollars for it. Who knows? Maybe you could buy it on Target.com for five dollars. In which case, I'll have to reevaluate my decisions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this piece right here, I believe, is probably either Viking or Ellie Smith. Um, although that drape right there makes me think that it's epic, possibly. I don't know. 
Uh, but I do collect this sort of glass, so I'm probably gonna end up holding on to it. I've got quite a few pieces. Obviously, right now it's the green and purple and amber season because it is spring. I told you I was gonna decorate for spring. Um, so this is probably gonna get shuffled up onto the reserve shelf for the time being. Um, <laughs> but I really liked it. And uh, I thought it was a neat piece. It was hiding on the back of the shelf. So I grabbed it. I would expect if I was to sell it, I could probably get 20 to 25 for it. Uh, I'm reaching over to you as we're taking pictures. I know, I'm using, I'm using a reverse image search right now. I know. So I take a picture of this. I'm pretty sure this is lava. These pieces right here. Now these we paid $2.99 for. Andrew found these. They are leaves. Those they, are cool. I really like those. They look like autumn leaves and they're nice. They're just nice decor. There was a lot of like home store, home goods stuff. And these just caught our eye, his eye, and then mine, because he pointed them out. Uh, because they they were just different than the other pieces. Oh, this one's damaged, but it's not really that bad because it's on the it's bottom. It's on the bottom though. Um, but yeah, I think these are like studio pieces. And there's only a couple of chips along the edge, but they're just nice little dishes. And they're full colors. Zero results, searched over 39.8 billion images. You might have a better better luck searching for aluminum trivet. That's what I was trying. But so anyway, I just, these are neat. They're, they're probably gonna stay with us until fall because they'll sell better when it starts to get a little chilly and people are decorating for fall. Um, let's see, you've got a single plate over there. Yeah, yeah, I spotted that, but. Fortunately, it has a joint. And you had said you picked it up once. I picked it up once and then I got distracted somehow and ended up setting it back down and then you came walking over with it. I'm like, hey, look at that. So this is Stangle. Uh, it has Provincial is possibly the name of the pattern. It's this nice gold pattern. Uh, it is just a little tidbit tray, you could say, and you just you know, put appetizers on it or something. Uh, we paid $3.99 for this. Unfortunately, it does have a chip on the back side, which is not noticeable from the top. Uh, but this piece right here, I would expect to get probably 12 to 15 for. Unfortunately, the price of single has gone down like everything. Uh, but it is still a really nice pottery. I like it, but not everything I like is worth money, unfortunately, <laughs> which I'm finding. <laughs> um, yeah, let's talk about this real quick because this is really cool. Um, I cannot make this out. I, I think it says barn, B-A-R-N. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. B A R N. Maybe it's anyway, a pottery barn. You know, that's what popped up, but I, I don't see. I can't find anything that matches that particular okay. design. But that trivet is just a killer-looking design shape. I love it. Thing. And I don't know. I just had a feeling about it because of the um, the, the, the signature on it. Like it's yeah. not. It's not made in China. No. You know what I mean? It's not a it's not a mass like It's interesting. Dollar store item. And it's heavy. Yeah. It's a it's heavy cast aluminum. cast aluminum, but it's solid quality. Oh, how do you set that over there, um you can tell the quality of a cast aluminum by how heavy it is because the more crap that's in it, the lighter it's gonna be. The better the quality, the heavier heavier it's gonna be. And this thing's solid. This is a good piece. I have to restart the camera. We're about to get shut off. I'm gonna uh, We only have a few more items left to go, but one of those items is this guy right here. Now, when I picked it up at the Goodwill, I mentioned something like, oh, that looks like that Ole Valley picture that we had at the auction. Uh, the reason it reminded me of that is because of this blueberry branch right here. However, it is not marked Salmon Falls Pottery, New Hampshire. Uh, so I was doing a little research and from the looks of things they didn't start marking their pottery Salmon Falls, New Hampshire until about 1990s. Yeah. So I almost wonder if this is one of their earlier pieces. It is not marked but it does have that blueberry branch and it it just matches their pieces. Even the marks on the bottom. Yeah. Almost match. 
identical to their pieces. The and color of the glaze inside, the, glaze on the, inside. the way the swirl is done inside, yeah. the way the, the, the inside bottom swirl is. Every, every characteristic that I'm looking at on, on matching pieces, the outer glaze, the coloration from the firing, just everything matches to an blueberry. exact T. Yeah. So I'm thinking that this is more than likely, I'm like 95% positive that this is Salmon Falls New Hampshire pottery, probably one of their earlier pieces. However, I have decided to keep it. As you can see, I'm drinking out of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this was one of the pieces that we picked up at the Goodwill that day. I really like it. If you remember when we got the picture, I said, I would really like to keep this, except that it says Oli Valley on it, and I don't know what I would do with it. So now I have the mug. And it's got nothing on it except for blueberries, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> and one of your favorite beers is a blueberry beer. It is. So now I can run right out and get my blueberry beer and then come home and drink it right out of this blueberry, blueberry mug. mug. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's awesome. Hey, surprise, I picked up a book. I, yes, you did. I did. But actually, you know what? This is cool. It's called The Watching Clock Encyclopedia. Um, over 3,000 entries, 1,300 illustrations. So what this is really good for is just breaking down the bits and the pieces of the clocks, the tools that are used on them, um, how to, styles of watch hands. Hmm. They even have names. All of the hands have names. That's crazy. So, I mean, just a, a reference book like this is invaluable. And I don't know what they charge for the hardback books there, in one or two bucks or something yeah. like that. But, but a reference book like this, if you somehow came across a collection of pocket watches and you need to know, don't come across the you need to know a little bit more about what you've got. Yeah. This is, this is where you're going to find it. Yeah. We try not to deal in clocks and watches, um, but we get the occasion. We do piece. get the occasion. The reason being is that, uh, watch and clock buyers are just very picky for good reason, because there's just so many parts and, you know, and, and to somebody who's not experienced in that selling them, just it's so difficult because you know obviously they're gonna have questions because they know how they work and how they operate yeah. and I'm not gonna have answers because I don't know the parts and I don't know how they operate so it's just it's really hard to make that transaction well here work. you can answer questions now I'm just gonna start reading this book tonight and I'll be done with it in like next year <laughs> uh, I might be done with it in this is this is probably an hour and a half book oh I know you're a speed reader I want to talk about it Talk about your Mag Magnasonic. Cleaner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Magnasonic. Yes. Ultrasonic cleaner, seven bucks. I mean, these are like, I want to say about 20, 25 bucks brand new. Yeah. Um, but these are great because. Oh, you can get a toothbrush in there. You get a little, you get some small parts and um, you, you can get them in here and whatnot. They just must have had that in there for cleaner or whatever. Yeah. But one thing I will tell you is, um, do not put turquoise in here. They turquoise when it's naturally formed, it has these natural fractures running through it, and they're very unpredictable. So if you put it in an ultrasonic cleaner, those vibrations, those very fine vibrations, are going to po could possibly shake apart your turquoise. Now I'm, I know there's people out there going, "Oh, I've put turquoise jewelry in an <laughs> ultrasonic cleaner before, and it didn't do anything." You probably got very lucky. Yeah, I think um, it depends on the piece of turquoise too. It does, and there's the other colors. minerals. Yeah, there's other what minerals. What was it that Casey was saying? Druzy. 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 Um, they they dye that stuff. Yeah. Um, it doesn't come naturally colored. It's like a white or a clearish, and and they had put that in the ultrasonic to get get it clean, and it just took all the dye right out <laughs> of it. So, but yeah, the ultrasonic is not good for everything. Um, be be aware of what you're using it for. But for seven bucks, that's another tool I like to have around the house. It's my second one. It's okay to have two. There's yeah. nothing. You have one going while you're working on something else. Who cares, you know? And they're it, for seven bucks. Oh, I forgot. Um, where my pen? Oh, it's right here. Oh. 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 I almost forgot about that. I was hiding it from you. You were hiding it from hiding me. It I had it on the table because I knew we were gonna forget it, and I set it up here, and then. And I put it down I here, it so here. I wouldn't forget it. And here we almost forgot it. I really like that. I grabbed this because it looked mid-century, uh, and I just, I thought it was a neat piece. It's more than likely made with a palette knife. I don't think it's anything 
Bob Ross style. <laughs> but I don't see no happy, happy trees. trees. Where's the happy trees? They're happy buildings and a bridge that's, with a boat. That's a miserable bridge. It's angry. It's an angry bridge. I thought it was a cool bridge. I mean, I thought it would look great in a mid-century. It does. It's cool. I do you know. like it. Um, now, I, like I was looking for use. a signature, and I noticed that there was this little stroke right here. And if you turn it over, I can look right there. Ta-da! There, there is, a is a signature. So we were looking at it, and it looks to say, Gration. G-R-A-C-I-A-N or G-R-A-C-I-A-M. Yeah. So we couldn't find any other pieces. Oh, it says made, the frame is made in Brazil. Brazil. Um, but we couldn't find any other information about this Gratian. So I don't know anything about that. But I just thought it was a neat looking piece of artwork. Yeah. Again, I don't think it... It was uh, a very skilled piece of artwork. I think it's like a Happy Trees piece. I the, They did a nice job framing it. Yes. I like the frame that they used. Um, I, I like the colors. I think that's what's attracting me to it. The I colors just, I just said that to you too. I, I do like the colors. Yeah. With the it's It's got that reddish and green and brown and there's a little color. orange in it. Yeah, it does. It's a nice piece of artwork. It I is. would expect probably 40 to $50 for that. Cool piece. Yeah. Um, so that was everything that we got at the Goodwill. Uh, again, our total spend there was 97-ish dollars, right around there. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to talk briefly about what we got at Casper's Buy, Sell, and Consign, where we went next. We did not buy a whole lot there, um, but we did get a few good pieces. Our total spend there was... 60 bucks. 60 bucks. Okay. I rounded up when I paid them. Okie doke. Um, so let's talk about these. So these little Rosenthal, I don't know if these are bud vases or if they're candlesticks, but every time we've been there, I've shown them on video and every time I've shown them on video, the viewers have said, why didn't you buy those? Oh, they're so pretty. Please go back and get them. Guess what? I bought them this time. You got them. <laughs> so I paid 15 for them, I believe. I just, I can't, I don't, I, I think I paid 15 for the pair. Yeah, has, this one's got a sticker on it. Yes, uh, so I think it was 15 for the pair. However, when we bundle, they tend to give us a discount, usually when you bundle. Who is Friedrich Hansler Bremen? Mm, that was maybe the designer. That's cool. Um, but these pieces right here, I would expect maybe to get 20 to 25 for them. So uh, we're gonna make our money back on fees. Uh, and I think we're gonna do all right. And the viewers that were wanted them mm -hmm. are going to get them. So I'm okay with yeah. making our money back and putting them in the hands of yours. So uh, this piece right here, that's cool. We paid three dollars for. I just thought it was neat. I like funky things, and this fish creamer is exactly that. It's funky. just weird and funky. It's just I don't even know what else to say about it. I just. You come across creamers a lot, and I don't, you really come across a, a fish figural creamer. I mean, you have cows. I think we've had pigs. Yeah. Had birds. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a fish, fish creamer. creamer before. Oh, oh. hey, you're coming over. Hi, buddy. He said, I had enough of this cage. I'm going to come over and hang out. You want to be in the video, huh? Why don't you go to daddy? Um, <laughs> now, Astrid's like, well, wait a second. <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Um, so, I don't know. It's just a weird piece. I would expect probably to get like 12 to 15 for it because it's an off piece. It's not a cow or a yeah. bird. It's just What strange. do you think? Do you like it? Does he make you angry? He approves, he's eating it. Okay, um, it gets the Hager seal of approval. Are you coming over here? You're probably gonna poop on me and then go back to daddy, right? <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> This piece right here, I talked about, you think that's funny, don't you? It's really funny, you're gonna poop on me and go back to him. Um, this piece right here, I talked about briefly in the video. I thought maybe it could be a Sitka clay, but uh, there is also a Tennessee pottery that has a very similar clay that they use. I did not have a chance to research it, so I'm not sure yet whether it is the Alaskan clay or if it is the Tennessee clay but it is a goblet mm -hmm. and it 
a nice piece. It does look like that Alaska. It does, but there's a Tennessee clay that is almost identical that I did I wouldn't have never known about except that it had a tag on it. So and and the same with the Sitka. I don't believe that that is marked either. Yeah. So it, it's hard to tell when there's no tag on it. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to guess or do a little research. So for that piece, um, what did we pay for that one? Two dollars. Two dollars. Uh, I would expect probably to get eight to fifteen for that. We thirsty. It's a nice giant goblet. You could drink a lot of wine out of that. Hey, kid. Uh this little dish. Right here, I grabbed this because I thought it was just darling. I liked the color. It's this light blue with florals. We paid four dollars for this. Now it is marked France. It does have a crack on the lid, unfortunately. It is not repaired. There is no repair on the crack, so. Um, it, I don't think it goes all the way through. No, it does. It goes all the way oh, across. It does. But okay. the the lid is encased. Yeah, so it keeps it. it so it keeps it together, yeah. but it wouldn't hurt to put. A little bit of glue to to hold it. Clear nail polish. Clear nail polish. Yeah, um, but it, but it is sturdy. Like it's gonna stay there. But I would I would reinforce it with a little bit of glue, maybe on the inside. But I just thought it was a nice little trinket box. It's got some age to it. Um, this piece right here, I would probably expect ten to fifteen for, even with the cracked lid. Uh, it just needs a little repair. If it wasn't cracked. I would probably expect 20 to 25 for it, possibly even more. It's old, it's got age. I think that's actually a manufacturer's mark on there. That red? Could very well be. I was looking at this. Yeah. It looks like um, something very specific. It was, it, was, it was specifically done on there. Almost looks like a little TV with a little squiggly out each side of it. See how it's got little legs? Yeah. Or if you flip it over, it's got an antenna, and it's like a bat. I wonder if it's a Limoge mark. It could very well be. I mean, it's Since marked it's France. France. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, that's that's a cool little. Tr I like that. I like that little trinket box. This beautiful lady. I walked in and I saw her, and I was absolutely obsessed with her. She's awesome. She is phenomenal. I don't know what it is about her, but she's just so elegant and so beautiful. And I saw her and I knew I had to have her. Now I did pull back this paper on the bottom. So I'm see. tempted to pull off all the paper to see because it's only half pulled off. It says Nancy China 35 and it is carved on there. But as you can see, it's only half pulled off. This half is not pulled off yet. And I really want to know what it says on that app um, because I couldn't find anything under Nancy China. Uh, but she's just absolutely beautiful. I love her dress. I wonder if her name was Nancy. I wonder if there was a series. I don't know. But she's just beautiful. Uh, pay 25 for her. I would expect 40 to 45 Possibly even more if there's some significance of, of the maker of this. But so far I have no clues. I just thought she was beautiful. Uh, these pieces right here. These pieces, I'm not going to try to lift the other one because Bolt. they're very heavy. They're marked Bolt. They're made by Thomas Bolt Pottery. Uh, that's a pottery that is still in operation, I do believe. I like the design. I that. like the design. It's very, I don't know, just crude and just, I like, and I like the texture of the pottery. It's, it's very I like nice. It. I like it. It's almost got like a mid-century type style, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so this one was $3 and that one was 4 I would expect probably to get, I want to say like 20 for this one, maybe 40 for the giant bowl. Unfortunately, I feel like shipping is going to come into play on the prices we're going to get for these because they're both super heavy. I have to say that bowl is probably five to six pounds, the larger bowl, and the smaller bowl is probably three. They're just very super heavy, but they're good quality and they're really nice, nice to look at. I like them. 
Yeah. But uh, the shipping is definitely going to be a factor in those. And usually yes. when we have to charge more for shipping, we see a decrease in, in the price in the of price. the item. Uh, I think that's everything that we bought at Casper's. It wasn't a whole lot, but we got a few really nice items. And um, that's everything for the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it is a beautiful day outside, and we were trying to get through this haul video so we could go out metal detecting. We've been out in like forever. Yes, but it's a beautiful day, so we're going to go out. Uh, we've got a brand new permission on a historic property, and it's time to go. So You might even see one of those videos on the other channel. You might actually see a Relic Recoverist video over on my other channel. So <laughs> make sure you stay tuned for that if I find something. I think we've got a coin, either that or a really sick button. Let's see, let's see. Pop it. Pop it, pop the dirt off. What do we have? We're gonna rub it. We're gonna rub it just like the old days. I've only got two hours, but. Ish. Ish, we'll see. And it's already been detected once before. But we'll see. But you never know. <laughs> you never know. We will see you guys tomorrow. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.